viewpoints on the talk station FM 107.1. And joining us this afternoon, we have Pastor Alex Poindexter, uh, related to a prophecy conference. He is the uh, pastor of the Piney Grove Baptist Church in um, Swansboro. I'm going to say Swansboro. That's it. Correct. And with that, Pastor, good afternoon. Thanks good for joining afternoon, us. Good afternoon, Lockwood. Thank you. Yeah. You know, let's let's talk about this. Uh, we're s- seeing a lot of changes in our lives and in our culture, in the world. Um, it really, it's it's a groaning almost of the earth, and I I reference that for a biblical passage. Uh, let's talk about this this program, the prophecy conference that you have scheduled. And by the way, it's scheduled the end of April. Correct. April the twenty eighth and thirtieth. So, um, what is the purpose of the conference? Uh, I guess the purpose would be um, to awaken. Uh, people who are unaware the fact that this has been spoken of for a long time. Okay, well, I understand it's been spoken of a long time, but I'll tell you what, we're aware of a lot of changes. Right. And and discomfort. And, right. And by the way, I, I'm, I've got to make comment about this. We're even covering it in local news right. as well. We, the thing we think about often, and I'm, I, I apologize, I don't want to take your... No, 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 no. Take, but we often think... That's happening somewhere else. Mm. That involves other people. Right, right. Well, I guess there's one word that I would use to describe it, and it's a word that uh, is being spoken of quite a bit, uh, and that is the word convergence. In other words, these things are not just happening in a specific locale or place. They're happening all over the world at one time. Uh, You know, in Matthew 24 in the Scriptures, Jesus prophesied himself that as we see the day approaching, his coming again, that there would be rumors of wars, there would be pestilences, uh, diseases, if you want to say that, Uh, there would be earthquakes in all kinds of places unheard of before, Uh, in regions there would be uh, just so many things happening all at one time. And, you know, if you think about it, I was just uh, reading not too long ago, I think someone had made the comment, I believe it was Jan Markell with olivetreeviews.org, Uh, She had done some research, and this was probably about six, eight months ago. She said there was at least 42 wars or national skirmishes with other Mm -hmm. countries right now in the world. And, (laughs) and, and of course, we're looking at uh, disease. A good example of that, of course, is COVID. We like to say Wuhan flu here at the talk station. But but not not to diminish that in any way. Right the lost lives, the millions right. of people who lost their lives, and we've got other other concerns related right. to other diseases. All right, so th- I'm, I'm using that, if you will, as, if you will, the foundation right. for uh, this upcoming conference. It's a prophecy conference. What do you, what will you, ho- what are you hoping to accomplish? Uh, I'm hoping to, that the speakers, which I know they will, because they've done this, they do this all over the country and all over the world, actually. They have conferences elsewhere in the world. But they show how these things that are occurring, how they tie together with what the Scripture has said would happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, one over one third of the Bible is prophecy, okay. uh, and so if and out of that uh, one third of it, over half of it has already been fulfilled exactly the way it said. So therefore, if that's the case, then we ought to be listening and paying attention and understanding that hey. This is where it's marching to. This is where it's going. And so how do I prepare for that? How do I and my myself and my family, how do we, what do I do? You know, is there a, is there a plan that, that God's Word tells us? Well, I've got a better one. Is there an escape plan? Absolutely. Absolutely. And the escape plan is you need to know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. We're talking with Pastor <laughs> Alex Poindexter. You owe right. me on that one. Because right, I'm, right, but, right. All right. We're talking about a prophet prophecy conference taking place April 28th and 30th at Piney Grove Baptist Church there um, actually it's going to be at the Civic Center Rotary Civic, Civic Center. Rotary Center I'm sorry Rotary Civic yes, Center sir. in Swansboro right. thank you very much for clarifying that right. and uh, obviously it's the, open to the public yes sir I mean it's free it's free right. Mm-hmm. all right who will be the speakers uh, we have Tom Hughes uh, which has a nationally a recognized um, blog and what have you. He's a pastor out in California, uh, Hope for Our Times. 
Uh, and then we have Billy Crone, who will be speaking, who is uh, also uh, has a um, website and uh, information books and what have you and, and speaks on this subject as well. Uh, he is with uh, Get a Life Media. Uh, dot com and then we have Ken Michael who is a representative for olive tree views dot org and olive tree views dot org deals both with worldwide events as well as national our event you know things going on in, in America specifically that we see happening that are alarming so uh, those three men will be speaking at various times and bringing information you know to the attendees as to, hey, okay, all right, I see this. All right, how does this line up? Where is that headed? What's going to happen? Okay. So forth. We're so. talking about eschatology. Yes, sir. Which, mm -hmm. by the way, right. th th if you will, define that for the audience. Uh, eschatology is God's prophetic timetable laid out in Scripture, how things will occur uh, from, from the beginning to the very end. And this is the purpose of the Prophecy Conference yes, to to if you will, connect those dots. Absolutely. Where are we on the prophecy? Where are we on the prophetic timeline that God has? Obviously, uh, the first comment is uh, this is this is a conference for those who are believers, who have a strong spiritual foundation, a Christian foundation. Right. But it is also for the unbeliever, for their eyes to be open to the truth. Okay. People are going to simply say that this is this is so much smoke and mirrors. This, <laughs> Right. Yeah. Help me yeah. out. Help me yeah, out. I've, I've heard that before. Uh, you know, and the bottom line is an individual's heart uh, has to be open to hear the truth, uh, to weigh what is being said with the other talking heads, if I can use that, right. and say, yeah. okay, okay, which one of these uh, shows what is happening and what has occurred? And that is without question. You know, hey, th this is true. This is it. Uh, now, the bottom line is, ob you know, obviously, you know, a person has to, by faith, you know, take what is there right. and, and their heart be open to that. But, um, you know, the average, uh, let, let's just say the average person in the world today uh, knows, as you said in the beginning, something is happening. Something is going on that has, that has if they're honest, has never happened before. We've had incidences in the world, World War I, World War II, uh, you know, this, that, sickness, you know, polio, all that kind of thing. But we've never had so many of these things happening at one time, and, ever. And this goes back to that comment, connecting the dots. Absolutely. So, you're, Absolutely. so your, your speakers will identify the dots, yes. I guess in some regards, even talk about them. Absolutely. But then in the process, you're going to connect them. This is a two-day program. Yes. Why sir. two days? Uh, well, to try to get out as much information as possible. Okay. Will there there will be some repetition from day one to day two, possibly? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, okay. They're so th going to be introducing new subjects. So, so you you haven't if this isn't shall we say uh, uh, highly compressed and refined. Mm -hmm. This there's a certain degree of of uh, uh, imagination impromptu impromptus. Promptness, so Prom to yeah, yeah, yeah. Fluidity and the fluidity with the subject okay. because there's so there's so much happening. Uh, I, I can just tell you right now. I stay on this subject every day. I do research, uh, you know, on the internet, looking at at trusted sites. Okay, all right. right, and we know all about that. We live in the age of deception right now, uh, and that's that is that is a huge key. Uh, and so, looking at trusted sites. Uh, and I stay on it, and it is coming. It is coming at such a fast pace every day that there are times it almost becomes overwhelming when you, you know, look at it. To your point of deception, and we talk about this here at the talk station on a regular basis mm -hmm. related to the internet, and that is one of the connections. One of the dots is the right. great deceiver. Absolutely, absolutely. And we're seeing the structure for that absolutely absolutely you know one of the things that stands out in my mind again as i look at all the things happening myself and these men who are on top of it i mean this is what they do you know um and that is one of the things it speaks of i believe it's in second timothy chapter three where it says that there will be inventors of evil mm -hmm. and boy do we have that today you know evil has always been there but inventors of evil f finding ways in which to do something that is evil and wrong uh, and not care what anybody says about it or thinks about it. So, 
We're talking with uh, Pastor Alex Poindexter, again, of uh, Piney Grove Baptist Church and the program End Times Happening, Happening Now. Mm. End Times Happenings, Happening Now. Uh, it's a two-day conference. It's free to the public. However, and it, by the way, it's taking place at the Rotary Club, April 28th and 30th. It's April 20th, at the end of the month, for right. all intents and purposes, April 28th and 30th. So 28, 29, and 30, yeah. really yes, three days. three days. Three days. I've been mm-hmm. saying two days. Yes. Um, and we've just heard about the speakers here a few moments ago, Tom Hughes, um, Pastor Billy Crone, and Ken Michael. 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 Mm-hmm. Ken Michael. Okay. And um, of Olive, Olive Tree uh, Ministries. And then uh, you're going to be uh, making a presentation, I'm assuming. I'll be involved in it. What we're On Saturday, what we're doing after the lunch hour, we're going to do a panel discussion. Okay, how long is the program? Okay, uh, each session is uh, a full hour okay. uh, or more, like about an hour and 15 minutes. So Friday night, it'll begin at 7, uh, and Tom Hughes will kick that off. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then uh, that'll only be one session from 7 to approximately 8.30. Okay. So, uh, mm-hmm. And then Saturday morning, both uh, the first hour at 9 will be Billy Crone. The second hour will be Ken Michael. Then there'll be a lunch. Then after that, we will have, I said, like I said, a panel discussion. And I'll be participating in that. I'll actually be, I guess, the MC. I'll be okay. giving them questions uh, or maybe not questions, but just talking about particular subject matter currently that's on the table at the moment. Mm -hmm. Uh, For instance, an example of that would be, uh, I don't know if maybe your listeners have heard, but uh, uh, the current uh, administration just announced that they are introducing, I believe it's in June, FedNow, which is a, uh, which if you really study and look at it, it is a early beginnings for the next stage, which is what we've been hearing about, the central banking right. system uh, currency. And so it, it, it's amazing. So we're going to be talking about current things, especially right on the table. Mm. Uh, but um, the guys will try to as well in the beginning to connect from the beginning from, you know, the, the timepiece in this is Israel. Israel is the timepiece. Mm-hmm. Uh, her establishment in, in April of 1948, uh, which was again prophesied in Isaiah 66, where it says that, you know, has a nation been born in one hour? And that's exactly what happened. The UN voted her in and declared her a nation after World War II, mm-hmm. uh, and it was done in an hour, uh, you know, in one hour. So, you know, that ought to make people's ears perk up when they see that. So she's the timepiece. And uh, as you look at all that's happened geopolitically that points right. there, uh, so those are the subjects in the panel discussion. We'll talk about some of that. And then after that, there will be a question and answer time. We'll allow people from the audience to come up, have the mic, and pertinent to the subject, ask a question, and then they can answer. So uh, that's, that's how it's going to be done. All right. We're talking April 28th, 29th, and 30th. That's correct. We're talking with... Uh, uh, Pastor Alex Poindexter, again, of uh, Piney Grove Baptist Church. One final comment for you or question for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is related to those to, uh, who attend. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a nice facility, and this yes. we're talking about the Rotary Club right. in uh, uh, Swansboro, which, by the way, is, if I'm not mistaken, it's uh, r- basically on Main Street Extension right. of, right. of uh, Swansboro. Right. But uh, it. Obviously, it could turn out to be a large number of people. Mm-hmm. What's the uh, possibility of that? The uh, Well, right now, the, the registration uh, seating capacity is 600. Ooh. Right now, we're at 440 as of, as of today, really? 440 people as of today. How do they get the news? Uh, if they'll go. They've been, they've been re- listening to the talk station. Right, been right, commercial. right, right. But no, how, uh, where are they coming from? Uh, we're, we've got people coming from California. We've really? got one person uh, that registered coming from Alaska, and I don't know if they're actually coming from Alaska or they're here and they're a military spouse right, or what right, have fine. you. But we got we do have people coming from New York, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, uh, and then oh, local oh. local people. And and that is that speaks of the speakers because these speakers okay. are well known. So, uh, but we're coming from they're coming from everywhere. I want to thank you for being with us this well, afternoon, I and I I look forward to. Maybe future conversation. We have ample time. We're, we're, we're right. airing this in advance of the right. well in advance. I may be talking to you to find out okay. where the overflow might go. Right, right. Um, All right. But, uh, Pastor Alex Poindexter, again, 
Uh, is there a place to a website possibly yes, to register? Yes, sir. If they will go to www.pineygrovebaptistch.com, okay. it's on the homepage, and they can scroll down and click where it says to register. Piney Grove C A. Oh, no, Piney Grove Baptist C H. Piney Grove Baptist C H. dot com. Dot com. Right. Um, Pastor, thank you for being with us. Thank you so much. My privilege. Viewpoints on the talk station.